Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So in today's video, we're going to be playing with a lot of new drugstore products. So I'm going to be doing this full face of drugstore and affordable makeup. A lot of the products that I'm sharing in today's video were from my recent haul. So we're going to be putting some of these products to the test. We're going to be seeing how they perform, how they look blended out, all of that good stuff. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I created this entire look using drugstore and affordable products, then let's go ahead and jump right in. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and moisturize the skin. I'm going to take the new e.l.f. Super Hydrate Moisturizer. And I thought this was interesting in the video where I did the haul because it has that jelly-like texture. Speaking of jelly, ooh, this is, yeah, it was really jelly, like jelly, jelly-like. But speaking of jelly, e.l.f. just, is it out now? I don't know if it's out now, but they're coming out with this whole jelly line. So you have a jelly cleanser, I think, glosses, a lot of jelly stuff. So I am interested in trying some of that out. Um, this actually feels good. It feels really like light and refreshing. Someone in the comments said that this is a really sticky moisturizer. I don't really feel the stickiness yet. Maybe if it dries down, I'll start feeling it. But right now, it doesn't really feel sticky. Oh, and by the way, if you guys ever see my clothes moving in the background, I know I have people asking why are they moving, but I always keep my fan, my ceiling fan on when I film videos because it gets pretty hot in here. But now that we have the moisturizer on, let me see. Oh yeah, it does. Okay, I see what she was saying. So it does feel pretty sticky tacky on the skin um kind of like the milk hydro primer so it does give me that really tacky feeling so i don't know if i would wear this by itself i would definitely prefer to wear something like this like that's this tacky under makeup because i don't really want my face to feel sticky without having something on top of it to you know cling on to it but so far it's making my skin look pretty good pretty glowy pretty healthy now that it's dried down a little bit more it still feels pretty sticky and my face feels a little tight like when I'm doing this it kind of feels tight which is kind of weird but anyway before we go into the brows I want to go ahead and apply some primer so I'm gonna be taking the new Revolution Pro Hydra Matte Primer I think this is their only primer I think it was because usually I would get like a um, hydrating primer but this one was the only one that I saw oh it's pretty creamy liquidy doesn't really have a smell oh wow this is a really oh wait it oh this smells strong now that I'm starting to rub it in it smells really strong Oh, I don't know about this. It's like, mmm. Okay. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this, but this has a really, really strong scent. I didn't really smell it when I squirted it out on my fingers, but now that I'm really rubbing it in and putting it everywhere, I can smell it. All right, so we're gonna let that sit for a few minutes. Let's go ahead and go to the brows. I'm gonna take the Revolution Pro brow pencil in the shade dark brown and i told you guys in my haul video that this felt like it just feels like metal to me i don't know but it just feels like a metal rod or something but it does have one side with the um, spoolie Ooh, this is really nice and the other side has the actual brow pencil so i like to spoolie out or brush out my brows first hopefully this is a good shade I always tend to go for like dark browns when it comes to um, brow products, but let's see how this looks. Oh yeah, this is a good shade. This is a good shade. I'm noticing that it's not, um, it's not really waxy. It does feel pretty you know it kind of feels rough as I'm doing this so it's kind of scratchy that's the word scratchy so it's not waxy it's not too soft it's actually it's nice it's actually really nice but it's not like one of those brow pencils I feel like that's too 
waxy or too creamy to where it just glides on really easily. So it does feel pretty hard and scratchy, but I mean the product definitely goes on and the color is perfect. All right, so I went ahead and cleaned up my brows with some concealer. Now let's try out this new foundation by Maybelline. This is the Dream Urban Cover Full Coverage Sunscreen Makeup. So it has SPF 50 in it, which is good because sometimes I'll use a moisturizer that doesn't have SPF in it. And I'll also use a primer that doesn't have SPF in it. So this will be good on those days when I want to use a moisturizer and a primer that does not have SPF in it. So we're going to see if this is any good. I got the shade Cappuccino. I feel like they didn't really have a good... First, let me squirt it out on my hand first. I feel like they didn't have a good color selection. It is pretty liquidy. So as you guys can see right there. But let's see how, you know, this is going to look on my skin. Mm, it might be a good color. Oh, this is... Hold on. Hold on. This might be it. And it definitely is giving me that full coverage. I can already see that. Ooh, it smells. You can definitely smell the sunscreen in it. I can tell you that. Yeah, you can definitely smell it. It matches my neck for the most part. The color is nice, but I keep looking at it on my monitor and it kind of looks a little on the green side, like olive. I don't know. Let me know if you see it. Now for the concealers, I have two and I'm trying to decide which one I want to use. I feel like both of these, well, this one looks pretty dark. This is the um, makeup, um, this one is the Makeup Obsession Concealer from Target. And then this one, I did not haul in my recent video, but this one is a new CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. I got the shade Golden Caramel, so I don't know which one I wanna use. I think this one, just to be on the safe side because it is a little light, this will definitely give me that highlight. Now, I don't know how it's gonna look. I'm just, um, you know, judging it off how it looks in the little tube but this is how the doe foot applicator looks it does have that big doe foot applicator which a lot of concealers are starting to have from the drugstore and then you guys saw this one in my other video but this one is um i don't know i just feel like this one is a little dark let's just use both of them just to see i'm just gonna apply a little bit of this right here where i usually apply yeah this is dark this wouldn't even be my brightening concealer but i'm just gonna apply a little bit of it just to at least see how it blends out and then i'll probably go on top of it with the covergirl concealer i don't know if i told you guys the shade of this one but this is in the shade number 15. So i'm just gonna apply it where i usually apply my concealer and then we're gonna blend it out this is a, um, a little sponge from Walgreens, which was like $1.99, $2.99, one of those, but it's very affordable and I love it. I used to use this all the time on my channel. So if you guys have been rocking with me for a while, you know about the sponge, but I found it when um, I was washing my other sponges the other day. Girl, I like how this blends though. I just wish it was a little bit lighter, but I like how it looks. It actually gives me a nice coverage. It's not like, too sheer the color looks pretty similar to my foundation shade but i do like how it's blending out under my eyes see you can't even see it but i can see like i could see what it looked like once i started blending it but you can't really see that i have on concealer but i do like how it blended so I'm gonna go over it with the covergirl concealer I'm not gonna use too much of it because I don't want too much product under my eyes so we're just gonna just to see how it looks so yeah this will be a color that I would use as my under eye brightening concealer all right you guys see how it just lightened it up a little bit more that is what I like like it's not too bright, it's not too dark, it's just that perfect amount of brightness under the eyes. So 
Is it just me or does my face kind of look green? Like is the concealer pulling green too? I don't know. Let me know if you guys see it. Like does my face look a little green to you guys? Okay, let's go ahead and set this concealer before it starts creasing. I'm gonna take the new Revolution Pro setting powder. This is translucent, but it's white. And I really don't care for white translucent powders. I'd rather have like the beige looking color ones, but let's see how this is. I'm gonna use the same little sponge from Walgreens and just tap it in here. It does have that little um, net right there. So I'm just, ooh, ooh, it just went everywhere. I'm just gonna tap it. I think it went everywhere because my fan is on, like my ceiling fan, so it's making it blow everywhere. So let's see how this is. This is supposed to be a matte powder. So we'll see. Ooh, it's blowing everywhere. Okay. See, I just don't, I don't know. I just don't, I'm not a fan of white powders because I feel like that white, you see that white cast? Like, I don't like that. For it to be translucent, I feel like I can still see white on the face. <coughs> My nose is like invisible right now. Like you can, be <laughs> all you see is this right here. Let's bring some color back into my face. I'm going to use the Superstay um, powder, the Maybelline Superstay powder in the shade 355. And I'm just going to dust on just a little bit of this around the perimeter of my face like this. And then just a little bit, kind of bring that color back into my skin. And also to smooth everything out and make sure everything is set on the face. So I'm not going to use the Winky Lux bronzer in today's video because it's not drugstore, but I did pick up the new CoverGirl Full Spectrum bronzer in the shade Ebony. So apparently they brought it back um, and I never got my hands on the original Ebony bronzer. So I am really, really glad I got my hands on this. I did get it off of Amazon. I don't know if they have it in store yet, but ooh. It's actually darker than I expected it to be. So I'm gonna have to have a very light hand with this. So let's see, where's a brush? I need to clean this brush, but for now, I'm just gonna wipe most of the product off on my little color switcher. Um, I got this from Target, it's by Sonia Kashuk, but you can get this from like um, Sephora. This is my Tom Ford bronzer brush, and I wanna see if this bronzer, yeah, it's pretty dark, girl. Like, I just barely tapped it in there. Let's see how it looks. Okay, it looks good. Ah. Yeah, so I barely tapped my brush in there and you guys see how much it gave me. Like, look at that. That's a lot. It's pretty though, but girl, you have to have a light hand when using this product. And I always use my Fenty bronzer to do this. I know this is not drugstore, but um, I'd rather use this shade. This is Coco Naughty as my nose contour because it's not too dark, it's not too harsh. This is the perfect color for me to use right here. Then what I like to do is take a little bit more of the powder and just put it down the side of my nose. And I like to just let it sit while we do our eyeshadow because I just, Want to make sure I don't start getting oily right here because it's so hot in my room. And we need that to stay put. We don't need our makeup to look shiny. We just need this to look fresh. So before we go into blush, highlighter, and lips, let's go ahead and do a look with the eyes. So I'm going to take the Belle Jordan eyeshadow palette. This is by Makeup Obsession. And I don't know what look to go for, so, which is nothing new. I never know what to go for, but I think I wanna play with this shade, which is Sagittarius, cause I'm a Sagittarius. But first I'm gonna dip into, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and dip into Sagittarius first. This will be our transition color, even though it looks pretty bright and orange, but let's see how it looks right here. 
okay it's not bad the in the crease oh wow this blended out really good look how easily that blended out and I barely put any product on the brush I like how it builds up too I went ahead and went over it one more time but that color definitely builds up really easily look how pigmented that is girl let's go in I'm gonna wipe my brush y'all know I don't really like to switch out my brushes so wipe it off let's go into hot sauce this color right here and we're gonna place this in the crease too I'm just gonna tap the brush in it like this because I really don't want to put too much product look how pretty this is pretty 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 really pretty look how it just layers on top of Sagittarius like that is a really pretty fade right there I mean just look how that blended I'm using my Morphe M504 brush my favorite blending brush from Morphe and look how that looks so I'm gonna take the color right beside it which is in this no I don't want to do that because that has gold glitter in it let's go in with the number 13 um, shade number 13 this dark purple right here at the bottom do y'all see how pretty these colors look look how pretty like they just flow together like the purple the cranberry the orange so I'm gonna go into the shade um, 1706 so this one right here and I'm still using the same brush but we're just gonna put this color right here and then we're gonna lightly dust it or just flick it into all those other shades like that okay that's all I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna go ahead and put on some lashes a little mascara I'm gonna smoke out my bottom lash line I think I'm gonna use um, 13 to smoke it out so this dark purple and yes yeah, so I'm gonna do that really quick and I'll be right back all right lashes are on these are the Ardell double up no, Ardell Remy Lashes 778, the ones I always wear. Can't get enough of these. But I smudged out my bottom lash line using my little pencil shader brush from my brush set. So I always don't show this part because I have really, really, really watery eyes. So it takes me a while to do this. But I pretty much just smudged out um, the bottom lash line with that shade I showed you earlier. So that dark purple. And I also kind of mixed it in with this shade right here. Um, which is the second shade that we use when we started to blend out our crease So I just mixed both of those together and just kind of smudged out my bottom lash line with that And then I applied a little bit of mascara, which is by flower beauty. I love this mascara So I put on some of this on my bottom lashes and then also kind of coated my top lashes Under my fake lashes. So that is that let's go ahead and dust this powder away because we're about to Put on some blush do our lipstick you know what let's apply a little bit of this gold right here on the inner corner let's do that yeah let's I don't know if I'm gonna have to wet my brush when I do this but let's see what it looks like without wetting the brush just apply a little bit of that yeah I may have this is pretty glittery so it's not really showing up I mean it shows but you have to spray your brush when you're using this color all right that's good enough all right I do want to spray my face because I feel like it looks pretty matte but I do want to go in with blush first before we do that so I'm gonna take the new blush by NYX this is their sweet cheeks matte blush in the shade uh, which one is this one which one is this one where is it bang bang so we're just gonna take a little bit of this not too much I just tap my brush in there one time because I want to see how pigmented this is, which is pretty pigmented. Do you guys see that? Oh yeah, that looks really good. So I don't really have any new highlighters, but I wanted to use this one by e.l.f. Cosmetics. This is their Color Icon Baked Blush, but I wanted to use this as a blush topper because this is like a coral 
orange looking blush, but it has a really pretty sheen to it. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I just kind of want to take a little bit of this and just kind of go on top of the blush so it can act as a blush topper like that. And it gives me a nice little sheen, so it's not too much. Lately, I've been getting into just using um, blushes with shimmer in it or just like a really, really light layer of shimmer on the cheeks, not too much. I haven't really been using a lot of highlighter as much anymore because I like that subtle glow and that just gives me that subtle glow. You guys see that? So pretty. Since my face is so matte right now, um, I honestly don't even want to use this one by Maybelline. This is their new um, a Lasting Fix Makeup Setting Spray, but this is a matte finish. So I'm already matte and I don't want to use something else that's going to give me more matte. But then again, I want to use it because I want to try it out. So I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of it and then I'll go on top of the face with my Morphe, um, my Morphe Setting Mist just to kind of make everything soak in together. So let's just at least see how this sprays. Oh, I don't like the mist. It shoots out straight, but it smells really good. Yeah, I don't like the mist on this thing. Oh, there it goes. Okay, there it goes. Now I'm just gonna take my beauty sponge and just kind of press it into the skin. This is what I've been doing a lot recently after watching Jackie, um, well after trying out Jackie's foundation routine. So I'm just gonna press it into the skin. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of the Morphe Continuous Mist and then I'm gonna press this one in. By the way, my sponge is damp, so just keep that in mind if you are gonna do this. So I thought the camera was recording, but it's not, and I went ahead and applied my lipstick, but I basically used the shade Cashmere from the Makeup Pro collection. So this is one of their new lipsticks. So I applied this all over the lips, and then I, um, I of course use a lip liner, which is the Makeup Shayla by ColourPop in the shade BFF3. So I pretty much just line the lips with the brown lip liner. So this is what it looks like. And then I went on top all over the lips with this lipstick in the shade Cashmere. And this is, well, I have it swatched right there, but there's Cashmere right there. But yeah, camera was off. I did not know it. Thought I was recording. Go figure. All right, so this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let's talk about um, some of the products that I was most impressed with. From this tutorial so starting out with the eyeshadow palette i think this was probably my favorite product out of all of the things that i shared today so again this is the makeup obsession palette and this one is the um bill jordan they have several other ones in target but if you are wanting to get this one is the bill jordan one so love how they blended out love how the shadows were not patchy and I just like how pigmented they are as well. I also like how they made this palette where you can easily take out the shadows. So if you wanted to create your own palette or if you already have your own palette to, you know, put single shadows in and you just want to go ahead and pull some of these out or pull all of them out, you can easily do that because they have these little holes in here where you can just easily pop the little pans out. So, so far this is this is pretty good. Okay, so the CoverGirl Full Spectrum Bronzer in the shade Ebony. Um, like I said earlier, I did not expect it to be this dark, but I did. It does work, so I just don't have to use a lot of the product to, sh you know, make it work because it's pretty dark and I like how it looks on my skin. It's also pretty warm too, so um, if you never gotten your hands on the original CoverGirl Ebony Bronzer, definitely get your hands on this one um again i did get this one off amazon i don't know when they're gonna have it in store but it is available right now on amazon let's talk about the other complexion products really quick so the maybelline dream urban cover foundation i like how this looks once blended out on the skin i like how it gave me that nice coverage i like how it looked on my skin i also like that it has spf in it already the makeup obsession concealer was definitely darker than the CoverGirl concealer, but I do like how these um, blended out. I didn't notice any creasing, but uh, I think I like the cover, as far as the color, 
I like the CoverGirl a little bit better, but I also feel like this is also making me feel um, a little green. I don't know. It's between these two. Definitely not this one. But the color was a little off. Y'all know when it comes down to foundations with me, I prefer to use a foundation that's a little bit darker. And it, this one wasn't as dark. It wasn't as warm. So that's probably why it's kind of thrown off as well. Another product that I'm kind of questioning that I will continue to use a little bit more of is the e.l.f. moisturizer. Um, so this did feel pretty sticky on my skin. So I can definitely see what one of my subscribers were saying about it. Um, so it did feel pretty sticky. It also made my skin feel kind of tight. Um, let me know if you try this out, if you experience the same thing, but I will continue to use this a little bit more just to kind of get more of a feel of it and just to give you guys um, a follow up on the product later on in another video, but that is that. Um, primer. I don't know how I feel about this. Now, I can't do a full day wear test because I film late at night and I never really have the time to do a full day wear test unless I film like on the weekends. So I'm filming pretty late at night right now so I can't really tell you guys my final, final, final thoughts on the products, especially the complexion products because I need to pretty much wear this all day long. But I will let you guys know in another video, kind of like a follow up video. So. Stay tuned for that and I'll also update you guys on the products as I wear them because some of these are actually going to go in my everyday makeup stash for this month. But the primer I was not impressed with as far as how it smells. It smells really chemically, chemically, chemi chemically. Um, so it has a really, really, really strong smell. But when I squirted it out the first time on my hand, I couldn't really smell it. It's just that once I started blending it out on the face, it was really really strong so I'm kind of worried about that but again it is a hydrating primer but at the same time it's matte so you kind of have that you know in between finish but I will try to use this a little bit more honestly I don't know if I want to continue with it because the smell is so strong and I would hate to have like a reaction to this primer so I don't know I'm I'm gonna set that to the side for now I don't know about that. So the setting powder, um, mm, don't really care for the setting powder. This one is pretty matte, but I don't like the color. I have never been a fan of white setting powders, um, but yeah, not too much of a fan of this. But as far as how it sets the concealer, how it looks on my skin, it does mattify it pretty, pretty good. But as far as the color, but yeah, I think that is all that I wanted to share with you guys. Everything else, like the blush, the lipstick, um, obviously I like those because you guys saw my first impression on them when I was applying it But I think that is all that I wanted to share in today's video as far as the products that I wanted to talk about So hope you guys enjoyed it, this video if you've already tried out anything that I did share in today's video Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you like them. Let me know if you don't like them But yeah, I think that is all that I have for today's video um yeah so that is it i am doing a giveaway on my channel for this entire year so every single month i give away one box to one person and it's finally a new month so that means a new box so i'll go ahead and leave a clip right here so you guys can see all of the goodies that i have to share with you guys for this month and it's super easy to enter the giveaway all you have to do is make sure that you are subscribed make sure you thumbs up the video as well as leave a comment down below in the comment section and i don't want the comments to be anything about the giveaway let's talk about the products that i shared in today's video let's talk about what you would be most interested in trying out let's talk about what you have already tried out if you like it if you don't like it also if there's any other products in the drugstore that are pretty new that you think i would like leave those suggestions down below in the comments as well so let's go ahead and chit chat down below but yeah i think that is all that i have so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you thumbs it up make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already and i'll see you guys in my next one bye